Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on influence lines. Let us read the question one time. For the continuous beam given in the figure, determine the influence lines for reaction at A or A, reaction at B or B. Make influence line ordinates at 1 meter interval. In this question, a continuous beam is given. In this continuous beam, we are having two spans, span AB and span BC. Both of the spans are 5 meter long. First, let us make the influence line diagrams for the reaction at A or A. In the point A, we are having a roller support. Let us remove the roller support and apply a unit load. So, RA is equal to 1. We have to calculate RB and RC. Let us calculate them. To find out RB, I am going to take moment about C. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anticlockwise will be negative. The unit load 1 is acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is 10. So 1 into 10. RB is also acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction. So it is also positive. The distance is 5 meter. So 5 RB. 1 into 10 we will get 10. We can take it on the right side. It will become negative. Finally we are getting RB which is equal to minus 2. We are getting a negative value that means the assumed direction of RB is incorrect. Actually RB is acting downwards. Now let us calculate RC. To calculate RC let us apply the rule summation of vertical forces is equal to 0. We are having 3 vertical forces. 1 is acting upwards, so it is positive. 2 is acting downwards, so it is negative. RC is acting upwards, so it is positive. 1 minus 2, we will get minus 1. We can take the minus 1 on the right side, it will become positive. Finally, we have got RC which is equal to 1. Now let us see the formula to calculate the influence line ordinate at AX. We have applied a unit load in the point A. Because of the unit load, deflections are developed in the beam. In the point A, we are having the deflection YAA. In the span AB, the deflection will be above the span. For the span BC, the deflection will be below the span. Since we are having two spans, span AB and span BC, we have to make two sections, one in the span BC and one in the span AB. Both of the sections should be made at the distance of AX. Then we should calculate YXA in the span BC and in the span AB. Now the formula for influence line ordinate at X is equal to Yxa divided by Yaa. You can see that I have made two sections, one in the span BC and one in the span AB. Now let us calculate movement about the sections. We are going to calculate the movements from the point C. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative, anticlockwise will be positive. When we calculate the moment, we should split into two parts. When x is less than 5 meter and when x is more than 5 meter. You can see that I have split the moments by a line. If x is less than 5 meter, we will have only one load that is RC. This load is acting towards the section in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be positive. The distance is x. So 1 into x. If x is more than 5 meter, we have to consider this load. 
this load is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction so it will be negative for the distance we have to calculate this distance up to here the distance is x so x minus 5 we will get this distance we can apply that now let us equate ei d square y by dx square with the moment let us make integration for this equation you can see the integration formulas integration of x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c integration of x minus a power n dx is equal to x minus a power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c when we integrate x we will get x square by 2 for x minus 5 we can apply this formula right now the power of x minus 5 is equal to 1 so n is equal to 1 n plus 1 we will get 2 here also n plus 1 we will get 2 then we can eliminate this 2 and 2 finally we will get this now let us integrate this equation when we integrate dy by dx we will get y when we integrate x square we will get x cube by 3 c2 is the new constant when we integrate x minus 5 the whole square we will get x minus 5 the whole cube by 3 in the point c we are having a vertical support if there is vertical support, the deflection y will be 0. In the point C, x is equal to 0. So, when x is equal to 0, the deflection y is equal to 0. Let us apply x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 in this equation. When we apply, we should be very careful. We must only apply here. We should not consider these because that is meant for when x is equal to more than 5 when we apply x is equal to 0 here it will be 0 and here it will be 0 in this way we can calculate c2 is equal to 0 in the point b also we are having a vertical support if there is vertical support the deflection will be 0 in the point b x is equal to 5 meter so when x is equal to 5 meter y is equal to 0 we can apply c2 is equal to 0 x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 0 in this equation when we apply we will get this after the calculations we are getting c1 is equal to minus 25 by 6 in the eiy equation let us apply the values of c1 and c2 c1 is equal to minus 25 by 6 and c2 is equal to 0 after applying these two values we will get this this deflection is yxa because we calculated the deflection at the distance of x when x is equal to 10 meter we will get yaa let us apply x is equal to 10 in this equation Finally, we are getting YAA is equal to 83.33 by EI. We already saw the formula influence line ordinate at X is equal to YXA by YAA. We have calculated YXA and YAA. We can apply the values. We can eliminate EI and EI. Finally, we will get this formula. Now let us make the ordinates. The ordinates start from the point C and end in the point A. For the ordinates from C to B, we have to only use this formula. We should not consider this. From B to A, we have to consider the whole formula. So from the support C to the support B, we have to use this formula from support B to support A we have to use the whole formula 
Finally, we can draw the diagram. You can see that the diagram should be curved in the shape. From A to B, we are having positive values. From B to C, we are having negative values. Now, let us make influence line diagram for reaction RB. For that, we have to remove the support from the point B and apply a unit load. Let us calculate the reactions RA and RC. First, I am going to calculate RA. For that, I am going to take moment about to C. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anticlockwise will be negative. RA is acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is 10 meter. So 10 RA. The unit load 1 is also acting in the clockwise direction. So it is also positive and the distance is 5 meter. So 1 into 5. Finally for RA we are getting a negative value. That means the assumed direction is wrong. Actually, RA is acting downwards. Now, let us calculate RC. For that, let us apply the rule summation of vertical forces is equal to 0. RA is acting downwards, so it will be negative. RB is acting upwards, so it will be positive. RC is also acting upwards, so it will be positive. Minus 0 0.5 plus 1, we will get positive 0 0.5. We can take 0 0.5 on the right side, it will be negative. For RC, we are getting a negative value. That means our assumption is wrong. Actually, RC is acting downwards. Now, let us see the formula to calculate the influence line ordinates at AX which is equal to yxb by ybb. In the point b, we have applied a unit load. Because of that deflection, ybb is developed in the point b. To calculate yxb, we have to make two sections. One section in the span bc and one section in the span ab. From both of these sections, we have to calculate Yxb. You can see that I have made two sections. One section in the span BC and one section in the span AB. Both of the sections should be made in the distance of X. Now let us calculate the movement about the sections. We are going to calculate the movement from the point C. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative, anticlockwise will be positive. When we calculate the movement, we should be very careful. We must split in two parts. When x is less than 5 meter and when x is more than 5 meter. When x is less than 5 meter, we are having only one load 0 0.5. It is acting downwards. This 0 0.5 load is acting in the clockwise direction towards the section. So it will be negative. The distance is x. So minus 0 0.5 into x. When x is equal to more than 5 meter, we have to consider this load. This load is acting towards the section in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be positive. And the distance is x minus 5. Let us equate the movement with ea d square y by dx square. Let us make integration of this equation. We have already seen the formulas. When we integrate d square y by dx square, we will get dy by dx. When we integrate minus 0.5x, we will get minus 0.5x square by 2. C1 is the constant. When we integrate x minus 5, we will get x minus 5 the whole square by 2. 
minus 0 0.5 by 2 we will get minus 0 0.25 now let us integrate this equation when we integrate dy by dx we will get y when we integrate minus 0 0.25 x square we will get minus 0 0.25 x power 3 by 3 when we integrate c1 we will get c1x c2 is the new constant when we integrate x minus 5 the whole square we will get x minus 5 the whole power 3 by 3 now let us apply the conditions before applying the conditions we should be very careful we should not make any condition in the point b we only have the conditions in the point c and in the point a if we apply the conditions in the point b we will not get the answer so here we cannot apply when x is equal to 5 y is equal to 0 we can only apply the conditions in the point c and in the point a in the point c we are having a vertical support so there will be no deflection so when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 in this equation let us apply x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 when applying we should not consider this part because we are not going beyond 5 meter we are applying in the point c where x is equal to 0 so we should not consider this part when we apply these values here we are getting c2 is equal to 0 when x is equal to 10 meter we are having support a here also the deflection will be 0 so when x is equal to 10 meter y is equal to 0 now we have to consider the whole part because we are moving beyond 5 meter in this equation let us apply x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 0 after the calculations we are getting c1 is equal to 6.25 in the eiy formula let us apply the values of c1 and c2 c1 is equal to 6.25 and c2 is equal to 0 after applying we will get this equation we know that this y is equal to yxb because we calculated the deflection about the distance x when x is equal to 5 meter we can calculate ybb in this equation we have to apply x is equal to 5 after the calculations we are getting 20.833 by ei we know the formula for the influence line ordinate at x which is equal to yxb by ybb we have calculated yxb and ybb we can apply the values we can eliminate this ei and this ei finally we will get this formula now let us calculate the influence line ordinates the ordinates start in the point c and end in the point a from the point c to the point b we have to apply this formula from the point b to the point A, we have to take the whole formula. In this way, we can make the ordinates. After making the ordinates, we can draw the influence line diagram. Here, all of the values are positive. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.